What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards of back with another video. Welcome to the bathroom. So, those of you who watch the channel know that I cannot stand my mustache touching my lip. So, this is just something that bothers the shit out of me, guys. Um, I've tried several, several times to let it grow. I mean, basically, pretty much every few months, I'll try to let it grow back out. And then it'll get to this point to where it's covering up my top lip and touching my bottom. And I can't stand it anymore. And I don't know how a lot of people get by with it. I don't know how they do it. Because when this right here gets to this length, I mean, pretty much you can take a sip of a drink, uh, whether it's in a coffee cup or any kind of cup, and your whole mustache lip is covered in water or milk or coffee or whatever it is you're drinking. And that, I can't stand it. So I don't know how anybody does it. But for me, this is more like a reset. I've let the, um, I've let the size just get a little, a little weird, you know, because from letting it grow out here to here and then trimming under here, it's, some of this has just gotten really weird looking to me. So this is just what I'm going to be calling like a reset uh, mustache trim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and brush it all down. My beard is all over the place, guys. I just woke up a little while ago. Sorry. Ain't got time for no beauty this morning. So I'll brush it down like that. And some of it's actually longer than it looks. But my mustache doesn't, it doesn't like to split like that. You can look at it and it likes to kind of curve over like this, all right? It likes to curve over this way. But since I just brushed it down, it's hard to see. But a lot of these hairs are laying this way, all right? And they're all laying over here like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this off. I'm going to be looking at this mirror as long as, as well as this mirror here. And uh, I'm going to get some of this off. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get in this area here and cut some of this. Because a lot of times when I wake up in the morning from the blanket or the sheet or whatever touching my face and rolling around, <clears throat> these hairs right here will be over in my lip like that and uh it absolutely drives me nuts so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start right here right so this is my cheek line right here i'm gonna pull these this way like that and i'm gonna cut that right there same thing with this side They don't want to stay, though. That's the bad part. They don't want to stay. Mm -hmm. So about like that. I'm just going to come in here and try to trim some of this off, which is going to be hard. I probably better use some uh, scissors because this is touching these hairs back here. All right. So. Boy, I never let it get this long before on the sides. So it's kind of hard to uh, see and cut. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. Take a little bit off to start with, just like that. Kind of like that right there. So you can see here, these are shorter. And these here are still, well, they fell back, but. You can see these ones here, way longer than that side over there, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. About like that. <laughs> Woo. 
So that's what we're messing with right now. That's what we're working with. I'm gonna try to cut a little bit of this length off. And I don't have any mustache wax, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a put a little bit of beard balm in to help hold it out just so I can trim it. At least on the tips out there. Because I don't want them real long, but I don't want them real short neither. I like a little bit of length right there. So we're gonna take a little bit of beer bomb. Well I say a little bit, it's a lot. That's alright. Let me give you a rag. Looking like uh can't remember it was one of my one one cartoon my son used to watch. I don't think it was Dr. Seuss, but one of them little characters looked something like this. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these, get them out there like that. Same thing with this side. longer hair sticking out there so what I'm trying to do here is it's pretty close it's hard to see on camera probably but these two sides are pretty close to the same length so I don't know how much I want to actually cut off here do a little bit off this side a little bit more I think that that there it's probably going to match up let's see yeah, it's pretty close to matching up right there so now put that stuff up i got a bunch of beer bomb you can see clump clumps of it in there that's all right we're going to shower after this anyways and get that out of there so now what I'm doing is brush this mustache down and I'm going to trim this up off my lip. With these, all right? So I like to take these guys, anybody that's watched my video before on mustache trim, I like to take these, the way these are shaped and uh, the clippers are here. And this outside here has absolutely nothing to hurt yourself with. So I actually let this part right here ride on my lip and let this do the trimming. All right. So I basically go in like this. I place that on my lip and let it just ride like that. All right. So that's what we're fixing to do. And then you just brush it back down like that and go at it again. And the reason I do that, guys, is because obviously most people's lips are shaped perfect. So you just go with the shape of your lip and it'll give you a nice clean cut like that so it may take several times to keep going in like I said these hairs over here like to curl under so it's real hard for me to get those so I have to come over here in this mirror where I can see a little bit better and get those and this is just like something I do every so many months I would call this like a reset, you know? That's what I would call this. I just like to come in and get that sh um, get that shape real nice and get some of these hairs from back here and they're laying on they're laying on my lip. Get those off. I gotta get rid of those, so and when I'm taking this much off my mustache, I do not like to use scissors. 
Because what happens is when I use scissors, I find myself constantly cutting. I'm constantly being here like this all week long, just cutting, 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 because I find all these little stragglers, and that's why I don't like to use scissors, right? So let me see what I can do. Getting pretty close. Got a couple stragglers hanging down. If you guys look for a good set of clippers to trim your mustache with, I'm going to say these, all right? I tried the Brios, and I just don't like them for uh, trimming my mustache. But these right here work phenomenal, man. So, I mean, you literally just, you don't have to push on or anything like that. You literally just, uh, just glide across there, and it's, it's going to knock it out. Basically, I like to just let it just glide across there, uh, like that. And I notice that with the brios, I actually have to push. It feels like I'm pushing through, um, pushing through the hairs to get them to cut. And I don't like that. These here, literally, just let it just touch it, and it just cuts it off instead of pushing through there. If that makes any sense, it does to me. Anybody that's used the brios before knows should know what I'm talking about. I like my clippers to just be able to touch the hairs and they fall, not push it like that, push. Just literally just touch it barely and it falls off. And then when I'm done, I'll come in underneath right here. Hold my lip up like that. And if I got any hairs there, I'll basically just come in here and go, mm, just like that. And now I get the ones on the back side of your mustache, not so much the very front, but the back, the back side back there. Get them up off your lip. And uh, I'm just about done. Let me touch it. Let me hit this side right here just a little bit because these are curling that way, like I said. And I'm going to come back in and show you guys the finish. And that's the thing that's bad about cutting your mustache, right? It gets all over your lip. I can't stand it on my lip. So, quick little cleanup. Just enough to get up off your lip, but that's the way I like to trim my mustache, guys. And it's basically just getting too much down in, into my lips. Uh, the sides here were getting a little too long for what I like to wear, but... The main part that was bothering me, guys, is when I was sleeping, like I said, I wake up in the morning and the covers or the sheets or whatever, uh, some of these scraggly hairs in this area that I cut off and begin with scissors, some of these here would just be folded too far under and actually up in my mouth like that, like a damn straw. So I had to get those out of there. So that's basically why I do those little trims like that because I can't stand the mustache hairs all in my mouth. And like I said, just simple tests like, like, literally like just drinking something it's um it's your whole mustache is wet and it just feels weird sometimes i'll um i'll be eating dinner or something like that and we'll be just about finished up and be cleaning stuff up and i go to take a sip out of my drink and uh you know my mustache hairs right here will be wet and then my wife you know my wife will come up to give me a kiss and it just feels weird to give somebody a kiss when you got water all over your lips. So it feels like you need to keep a bib or something around, literally, and just keep wiping your, keep wiping this off. And it's just weird to me, guys. So the the more I can keep this up off my lip and uh, out of my mouth here, and while I take a drink, it doesn't get all wet like that. At least for me, it doesn't anyways. But when it's hanging down just a little bit, it only takes a little bit. Hanging down just a little bit like that, literally, makes all the difference in the world. Just to keep it trimmed up like that. So, and it makes me feel better to have a nice, cleaner mustache. You know, I wouldn't want to trim it real short or anything like that, but this right here, just where you can see my bottom lip, or my, sorry, the bottom of my top lip, to me is about perfect. So, that being said, guys, let me know how you wear your mustache, and uh, yeah, see y'all in the next one.